On July 19th, CrowdStrike issued an update to their Falcon sensor, causing 8.5 million computers to blue screen and costing over $5 billion in damage. Exactly one week later, Falcon! I made a clicker game out of it. This was one of those really dumb ideas I just couldn't get out of my head. The CrowdStrike outage hit on Friday, and by Saturday I had the idea for a clicker game based on it. Jessica did encourage me to focus on my real work, but I couldn't shake the idea, and on Tuesday I decided to open up Godot and just see what I could come up with. Unfortunately, a blue screen isn't going to be very convincing if the program's just sitting minimized in the taskbar, so I needed a way to hide this, ideally in the system tray. Yeah, so Godot doesn't even support that, it turns out. Uh, I gave up, but after another day, CrowdStrike was still in the news, and I still thought this would be hilarious, so I, I really wanted to try to make the game. Uh, so I installed a bunch of programs on my computer, learned to compile GD extension. Uh, after a few hours, I did have some code from the internet working well enough. Interestingly, those right-click menus aren't a thing by default. You need to program those. So I don't have an icon, and I don't have any sort of menu here, but this suspiciously empty space does say blue screen of death incoming, and that is my program hiding. And it's fine, because if I want to stop the program running, I just come up here in Godot, and I'll hit the stop button, and that works just fine. Once I got that figured out, the rest of the game was really, really easy to make. Uh, it was just a bunch of control nodes and a handful of sound effects. I only really did two scripts. There was one for the buttons, and then there was one for the game itself. It's not my cleanest code, it's not my best project, but it was really quick, and it wasn't too hard, and it was really fun, so I'm very proud of it overall. Of course, the smiley face is a button, and that's the main part of this, uh, what makes it a clicker game. I just put in a bunch of different faces that I found on a Wikipedia list of smiley face things. I forget what those are called. Uh, emoticons or something. Uh, it was different than emojis, but uh, anyways, went through, added those, and I now have a game where you can click on the smiley face, and it changes to a different face. Once I was satisfied with the gameplay, I exported the game to a standalone executable, and double-clicked it to see if it ran the same as it did in the editor. And that was when my game betrayed me. See, I didn't add any way to exit the game once it was already running, and that would be normally fine on a typical game, but this isn't a typical game. When it's not running, it's hiding in the system tray, and there is no right-click menu, no way to close it from the tray. So I figured my only option was to open up the task manager and to close the application there. Now, my program was named C-Strike Falcon Clicker. Looking through, I can't find any program with that name, which means I just don't get to close my program. So I get to be blue screened by this until I either restart my computer or win the game. Fun. It is slightly immersion breaking, but I did add an X to the corner so you can actually quit the game now. At this point, I would usually end the video with a link to my itch page and ask you to go play it. Uh, it's free, it's fun. But for some weird reason, people aren't super excited to download a program that hides ominously in the system tray when it's not actively throwing blue screens. Which is weird, because that's CrowdStrike's entire operating model. So I'm going to just play the game myself and spoil the super secret ending right now. If you decide you do want to blue screen your own computer, feel free to pause the video and go to the link in the description instead. Uh, by the way, I should mention this isn't actually a real blue screen, so you are safe. Uh, it is a simulated blue screen that you can close. You know what? I forgot to save this. Uh, one second. So I'm playing the abridged version. It is just a few seconds between blue screens instead of a uh, few minutes between blue screens. So I'm just going to work on my game in between because that time will add up. Okay, it's awful waiting for it to hit. <laughs> there it is. So the first thing you'll notice, the error point per second is probably the best thing to invest in because it gives you a lot, Oop. and we're done. That one gives you a lot of bang for your buck. We're going to make these last a little longer, so. and here we are. <laughs> well, you're, you're increasing this, you're not increasing that. Yes, I am. Look, it's getting <laughs> bigger. What are you... <laughs> Okay, wait, thank you. No, I wasn't done! Well, it pops back up in a few more seconds. That's why you get your wife to play these games. <laughs> you bug it! Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, thank you.
Well, my wife just came through and decided to mess up everything, but hey, we're back. Um, she did hit the mute button, which turns off some of the loudest sound effects. So we still have the clicking and the, the kind of cash register type sounds, but we don't have the, the Captain Falcon or the, uh, the turn off sound. Yeah, this is probably a bad time to start trying to let's play my first game ever. Our one-year-old had a 103 degree fever yesterday, and I managed to get something from her as well. But I'm trying to power through because I really want to uh, get this video out. Uh, I have my last video was exactly two weeks ago, and if I can finish this before 12 o'clock, I can mark it on my calendar, and I know CD like that, I want them to light up. So <laughs> it's the dumbest reason to try to get a video done quickly, but you know, whatever, it works. Nearing that true ending at this point, so... Oh, <laughs> you, I forgot about that. You click the QR code. Uh, that's not how a QR code works. <laughs> uh, that is just to uh, this YouTube channel, so I figured if people decide to scan that, they'll be directed back because, you know, this game is totally free, so I'm not going to make anything from it, but if people enjoy playing the game, it might be nice to be able to say, hey, uh, check out my channel for other nonsense like this. We are up to C at this point. We just need to get to F. Actually, I'm curious. Has anyone seen uh, clicker games using hexadecimal before? I feel like that's probably not a very common thing. I thought it would make sense uh, for an error code to use hexadecimal, but uh, it's a little bit hard to translate. Like, I, I don't remember off the top of my head what FFFF is. Um, I think it was 25,000-ish, but we'll see. And you will notice how quickly this is. Uh, this is real time waiting for it to come back up. If I had this in minutes instead of seconds, it would take a little while. But still, compared to the 20 minutes, uh, once you press that a few times, it speeds up a lot. Ooh, we are really, really close. I don't think we're going to get at this. Oh, we might. Nine. A. Race against the clock. <laughs> the. Well, we made it. We definitely made it. D E F F. Oh, unlocked it. Thank you for your patience as we repeatedly blue screen your computer. To express our gratitude, your next cup of coffee or late night snack is on us. Whoop. And this voucher has been canceled. And if you weren't keeping up with the news, that is what actually happened. Which is why I gave credit where credit's due, story by CrowdStrike Incorporated. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. I hope that you had as much fun as I did. And if you do want to play this, feel free or install it on someone else's computer as a prank. Whatever. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I will be back with a more normal video next time, hopefully. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.